Good morning. <laughs> what he said. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another brand new weekly vlog. This is week 10 of weekly vlogging. I can't believe I made it to double digits. I actually think a few times in my life I've gone, I really want a weekly vlog. And I love doing it, but it's lasted like two to three weeks. This is the longest I've ever stuck at it. Can I have a round of applause, please? <laughs> you can stay. A quick introduction just in case you're... I, how, I forgot how to say introduction. A quick introduction just in case you're new. My name is Amy and this is my YouTube channel where I vlog every week and I also upload random midweek uploads as well about whatever I feel like that week. Sometimes it's fashion, sometimes it's theatre. This week I think it might be film actually. Hello. There's a HelloFresh box on the floor. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. I went to Blue Water on Saturday. Hello. Hello. For the first time in ages. Um, with Jess because she was shooting an ad so I was helping her shoot that and then I went to Charlie's house because he took me out for sushi to celebrate hitting 100k which is very cute I love sushi I've been thinking about it all week um and it was so good it was insane. and then yesterday we went to see Wicked Little Letters in the cinema and it was my second time seeing it what did you think yeah you country mm. okay good yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was, it's really, really good. It's really funny. It's such a good film. And actually, I think, I was just laying in bed thinking about what my midweek upload is going to be this week. And I think I might do a video about, like, the true story behind it versus the film and talk about, like, the similarities and the differences and, like, yeah, what, what actually happened. Because that's the kind of thing that I always wish there was a YouTube video about. Because I end up just reading article after article after article. And I did a similar video about Newsies, the musical, last year. And I loved putting that together. So I did just look how long it would take me to drive to Littlehampton. It would take two hours if I wanted to film it on location, but I'm having a problem with my car that I can't get fixed until next week. So I don't think I should do that. So I'm gonna film it at home and just highly edit it instead. Just as a side note, I cannot believe how clean your windows are. Are you being sarcastic? No, I did a really bad job of it. No, no, you, did a, you didn't do a great job of it, but the fact <laughs> that I'm actually able to see out of them. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? So yeah, lots to do this week, as always. I'm just trying to chip away at the to-do list. It feels it like feels it never ending. keeps getting longer, but I am determined. I'm going to do a lot more declutters as well. We're going to get organised. It's spring cleaning time. It's March. Which dinner should we have tonight? Oh, I don't know seems like a later problem guys this might seem like no big deal we finished the jam i said last week that i'm really trying to cut down the amount of food waste that i have and i have a really bad issue of having things in the fridge and just forgetting they're there and then buying new ones or just not using them up and jam is such a prime example for me i don't think i've ever reached the bottom of a jam jar before without it like either getting a bit mouldy or giving me the ick because I think, oh god, it's been in the fridge for so long. So, we finished the jam. Bloody love jam. This jam was really good, by the way. The Bon Maman strawberry and wild strawberry. I like that they have separated those. Pronounce that? Bon Maman. Bon Maman. Bon Maman. <laughs> uh, yeah. Really good jam. Can't believe we finished it. Slay Queens, what a start to the week. Guys, I'm feeling a bit, like, redundant today. I thought I was going to have a whole day's worth of errands. Obviously, there is lots of washing that needs to be put away and stuff. But I thought that I needed to go and take my car to the garage. But they can't take it in. They're too busy, so I have to wait. Then I thought I was going to go to the post office. But they offered a free collection. So I'm having that tomorrow while I'm in. So now all I need to do is go to the pharmacy and pick up a prescription. And I think that's my only errand. I'm quite surprised. Charlie did just set up something really cool for me that I bought the other week and I've been too scared to set up because I get really weird about technology sometimes. Like, considering I use social media as my job, I hate technology. I'm so bloody good at that. Yeah, he is very good at it, to be fair. Um, so I now have this label printer. I'll show you. Here is the thermal printer. So it only does labels. It's no good if you want like anything A4. But basically it doesn't take any ink. It just does it all by like heat. So these are special labels. Um, and then this is like a holder that I bought for the labels. But to be honest, it's, it seems a bit redundant. I don't understand what... The, redundant's my favourite word today apparently. I don't understand what this bit's for bit on the top any ideas or is it just to make it sort of tidy 
I don't know. I, I thought something should maybe go over the top of it, but nothing seems to. But yeah, this is my label printer, which will be very handy for vintage and anything else that I need to print out. So yeah, this is kind of all part of the office setup that I'm building. I just want everything to be super convenient. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it is time for a girlies IRL meeting. We used to have these every couple of weeks and then with all the tours and everything, we stopped doing them because obviously they would, it was taking so much time anyway, but now we are back to it. So I'm just waiting for the girls to all be present and correct. And then it's time to start discussing the upcoming events that we've got. We've actually got one on Friday, so you'll see it in this vlog. I forgot to vlog the girlies meeting. I feel like I keep forgetting to pick the camera up today, but um, I thought I would just show you a little bit of the process. So by the time this video goes out, it will have been announced that the next show that we're seeing with Girlies IRL Theatre Club is Wicked. Woo 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 woo. If there are still tickets available, I'll put the link in the description. If you fancy coming to see Wicked with us, it will be on the 13th of April, which is a Saturday, and we're going to the matinee, which starts at half past two. So hopefully that will be good for people who are traveling into London as well and it's literally right next to Victoria Station it's so easy to get to but basically when we do these announcements Jess has a graphic design degree is it graphic design no illustration degree so she is like our designer for everything but basically to help her with that process because it's obviously such a big job what she asks us to do is these like mock-ups of what we want so that she can then take it and like use bits of it and maybe like bin bits as well if she thinks they're rubbish ideas but I've got the one for Wicked here and it's so funny <laughs> I'll show you what she actually sends through but hang on <laughs> this is what she's got to work with <laughs> oh God, I'm so talented. Maybe we'll just post it like that. For context, this is what she did to the Mean Girls one. I don't have my original mock-up for that, which is annoying because it was just done on Instagram stories. But obviously, Jess's version's slay. This is my version. <laughs> Jess's version has arrived. I still prefer mine. <laughs> If you want to come see Wicked with us, this post is up on our Instagram now and on the Facebook page. I'll put the ticket link in the description and I'll put the link for Mean Girls as well, just in case any of you fancy coming along to that. I need you guys to tell me that my outfit is okay. Basically, I'm going to Disney HQ, it's very dark in here, for a screening of Extraordinary. If you've not seen it, it's like quite... It's like, it's, it's a very good TV show, but the vibe is like quite cool. So, I'm, I'm wearing this. Do I seem cool to you? And this is my handbag. This is from Coachtopia, which is Coach's like recycle collection. I bought this for myself as a birthday present last year and I love it. But the handle makes it sound like I have a bag full of mice. But you know what? If there's anywhere that it's okay to have a bag full of mice, it's a Disney HQ, and obviously I don't mean in a nasty way, I mean like a nice friendly bag of mice. Um, anyway, <laughs> shoes. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is in my bag. I'm torn between my docks and my loafers. The docks aren't very comfortable. Loafers Yeah, I, I do always mean. I just can't be bothered to do like the whole heel cover sock debacle this evening, and it's going to ruin my tights. And these are brand new tights, so I think we're going with a loafer. Do you think the loafers make the look? I think they look very lovely. Thank you. Loafers. Okay. I'm going to Disney HQ. Charlie's going to walk me to the station because he's a gentleman. Yeah, girls, get yourself a man like me. You're going to get it all over your shoes. Can you check under your shoes as well now? It's not wet anymore. It's fine. What's... Idea. That's so mean. Guys, I finished painting this wall white today. It's so white now. Wait. Still a lot of the whole way to go though. Bloody well, I hope it's white. <laughs> <sighs> it's taken so long. But it is actually white now, so I can put the shelves back in here tomorrow. I'm gonna have a big like spring cleaning and sorting day. <laughs> Look how cute these tiny little tube planter boxes are. I kind of want one for my balcony. I have arrived in Hammersmith, which is where the Disney office is, or one of them anyway. And I am so thirsty. I'm so annoyed with myself. I've been at home all day. There's absolutely no need for me to be this dehydrated. So first stop, gonna find myself a big drink. A quick free screening Nando's. 
What? Chicken? No, what's on it? I imagine the... Oh, it's medium. Not only getting medium. Right. Sorry, not me. Big brave girl with my medium. Wow. She's waving that flag. I'll wave it. Here's the man himself, the one we're here to see. I'm here. Maria's Disney bounding today. Oh my god, stop it. Oh. It's so weird that this screening room is in an office. But let's go to work. Let's go to work. I'd like to work in this office. Yeah, Particularly this room. Would, work in, it would, be here. would it? Yeah. Same, probably. Well, I'm dressed as the mouse himself. You are, it's true. Highly inspired. There was popcorn, guys. You know how important popcorn is to me at screening. Um, and my question was, is it going to be as good as Disney World popcorn? And my answer is, I think it's actually better. Oh, really? I've only had one bit. Well, it's very salty. And to me, that means fantastic popcorn. They are. Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for coming. We think had an absolute blast making the presentation. It's exciting, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are in the Disney toilets. Magical toilets. Most magical toilets in West London, I've heard. heard. Yeah. yeah. Guys, I just had the most stressful toilet experience. Hey guys, lots of Disney God, imagine, vlog. Imagine if we got stuck in here, the vlog. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, my camera wouldn't focus. Yeah, basically, when I came out of there, I was so desperate for a wee. I was like, Maria, we need to go to the loo. And then yeah. when I got in here, I realised that I'm wearing this shorts bodysuit. So I had to take off my jumper, my shirt, my skirt, my tights, and my shorts. Oh, you've got a little... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, good. But it's okay. We made it out alive. What did yeah. you think of season two of Extraordinary? The thing is, I am number one extraordinary fan in, uh, in the world yeah um like actually it's um, so everyone good everyone else watched it because i was like guys like my friends really excuse started. me who told you to watch it did you tell me to watch it i did the story that you said said amy told me to watch this and that's my claim to fame oh i thought i told everyone about it it was because i was banging on about it so much. yeah no you were banging on but i told oh, you wow okay well amy told me to watch it and it was fantastic <laughs> One of the greatest things I watched last year, and now we've just watched season two. So when they invited me to this, I said, "Sign me up." I didn't reply so quickly. It was it was crazy. They probably thought I had magic fingers. So it was like an auto response. Yeah, they probably thought I was Chat GPT. <laughs> yes, I did come to your event. I love this show. Thank you, and I actually do love this show. It's yeah. fantastic, by the way. Yeah. But they're gonna go. Where? Are they? Why are those girls? We're gonna so maybe now? we're deliberately making ourselves locked oh, in here for the TikTok it's vlog. <laughs> It's like a night at the museum. God, there's a, there's a statue of Walt Disney's head. Maybe it comes to life. Well, let's go and find out. <laughs> there's a what? Oh, we appear to be we stuck. Oh, sorry. We actually really do appear to be stuck in here. But here's Walt's head. Where's Walt's head? Oh my god. Okay, I think everyone else has got. Um, there's no one else here. So we're just sort of in Disney YouTube. We sort of are, yeah. Oh, I hear voices, I hear voices. Oh. Maybe there are other people no, in there. All I can hear is your mice. Oh, I hear voices, I can. <laughs> we are locked in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the door's not back. Oh, there's a door release. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a door release. But it says pull. Pull. pull one. Yes, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> hey, that's like our height difference. I don't know what you mean. Very similar. He is a good sort of like, sort of, yeah. High five. You just really hit that there. <laughs> just hanging out with my friends. Anyway, time to go home. What a fun excursion into the Disney office. Oh my God, that made me absolutely jump out my skin. I thought that was a person. <laughs> oh my God, even the banisters are magical. Disney magic. <laughs> Oh, you're stuck again, Maria. Why does this keep happening to you? I don't you? know. Sorry. I'm undecided, but I hear all the cool kids are straightening their hair now. So I thought I'd give it a go. I don't actually hate it, you know. I don't love it either. <sighs> I'm determined for today to be the spring cleaning day. Please glance, only briefly though, at the state of my office. Also, the hallway still looks like this it's so patchy i did finish that wall off that wall looks a lot better but the paint like it hasn't completely run out but now there's not enough paint to pour it out to then use on a roller there's only like enough to use a brush 
and it, oh my god it's taking so long it's actually painful so on charlie's lunch break we're just about to run out and buy some more paint and hopefully this will get done charlie and i are both busy tomorrow and then heading to Norwich for the weekend because we've got a girlies IRL event on Friday so we're going down Thursday night and then we're actually staying there most of next week so next week's vlog will be in Norwich but that does mean that I'm really feeling the pressure today because I do not want to come back from Norwich next weekend and walk into this hallway still unfinished I just don't it's been going on for so long ah. roast crispy top on obviously I did with this yesterday but I promise it has been washed since let's go to B&Q guys paint acquired that was very much like an in and out job it was just boring white paint on it honestly i am so bored of white paint it's so boring and it's so expensive and it takes so long i can't wait to start painting in like fun colors he's hungry i'm very hungry <laughs> i'm very i've woken up in a very weird mood and i'm just like i just need food sometimes that happens oh yeah actually when we go to the shop i might get lucasade original because apparently that's quite oh, yeah, good that's good for like if you're feeling a bit weird this is the paint that i'm using the deluxe trade super matte in white i nearly accidentally picked it up in magnolia um very glad that charlie had his brain more switched on than i did but when i got back i noticed a couple of parcels for me and i'm not expecting anything so i thought we'd do a little unboxing this one says it's from QVC. I actually love QVC for like Mother's Day or like Christmas or anything where you're buying like presents. QVC always do really, really good, stop it, really, really good like deals um, and packages. So you buy like one thing. So you get like a part, hang on, hang on, hang on. So I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm too excited by what's in this box. You pay for like one item and you get it in like a gift box. So you normally get like two or three two or three things extra for the price of one I'm thing. I'm stealing Wait. this. I'm stealing You're this. You're not stealing I'm stealing this. Oh my god. This is a real Stanley Cup. That. I really want it. It's fantastic. It feels like there's something in it. There's water in it. <laughs> it feels like there's water in it. Oh no, it's, <laughs> no, okay. It's the label. I think this has been customised by Cam Designs. Oh my god, that is so cute, especially for like spring. God, not me with a real Stanley. Feels very heavy and luxurious. Stunning. Anyway, what they based this on is the Philip Kingsley New Scent Sicilian Lemon Bergamot. Is it Bergamot? Is that how you pronounce that? I think it is. Um, and this is the elasticizer. I literally used the elasticizer earlier today when I washed my hair. I love Philip Kingsley elasticizer, so I'm excited to use the new scent. Thank you very much, QVC. I was not expecting that today. This one is much smaller. I have no idea what is inside it. This is the size of the box. Any guesses? Oh, the colour on the inside is bright purple. That makes me think maybe, uh, maybe Isle of Paradise. Oh no. Oh, I did know these were coming. These teeth whitening strips that I really want to try. This is from Polish London. Sorry, my battery died. Yeah, I've wanted to try some teeth, teeth whitening strips for ages. I feel like I can't talk today. But um, I've been a bit nervous because some of them can be really damaging, can't they? So I've done my research. These do sound really good. I was meant to go to an event with Polish London and I couldn't make it. So they sent me some to try, which is very nice. I'm not going to start them now, though. I'm going to wait until after I get back from Norwich. All right. Well, that solves the mystery of the deliveries. Oh my god, guys. Um, this wasn't a delivery today. This is something that I got a while ago but just haven't got out. Let me show you. Basically, I found this chilli oil bottle in Oliver Bonus. Now, I've never used chilli oil in my life. I don't even really know what goes with chilli oil. But it was £12.50 and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I was on the hunt for some chilli oil for a while. And I couldn't find any. They didn't sell it at the supermarket. And then I found some in HomeSense. And today I filled up my chilli oil bottle. And I'm so in love with her. Look! At my child. I'm gonna have to figure out what to eat chili oil with because how could I not get this? So now it lives next to the hob. 
and it just looks so cute. I love it. Ah, oh, speaking of the kitchen, actually, I think in last week's vlog, I mentioned that basically I've been considering using some vinyl to stick over these units to change the colour of them because I'm too scared to paint them in case I hate it. And at least with vinyl, you can rip it off. I think vinyl is particularly rent friendly. I own this place, but I also don't really want to make any like huge long term changes because while moving out is not on the cards anytime soon, I don't intend to be here for like more than a couple more years. So I don't want to make any changes that are too permanent. So I got some vinyl to try. So I was absolutely scouring the internet to try and find like custom vinyl shades because everywhere I found them, they did like three shades and it was navy, which was nice, but really dark, a sage green and a blush pink. And then there was the occasional like bright gold and stuff. And I was just like, oh, this is just not really what I want. Like I thought I wanted navy for a while. Um, and it turns out that I just didn't. But so I was looking everywhere and then I spoke to Jess and I was like, I can't find anywhere. And she went, oh my God, I actually know somewhere that does like custom vinyl. Where are the scissors? The company is called Jess Rose, but Jess with just one S. Um, and basically you can pick your vinyl color off like a color wheel. And then they send you like well, you have to pay for samples. I think these were like three pounds each. Um, and then if you like the colours, you can get them obviously printed out big enough that you can then do the whole kitchen with it. So I got some samples. Shall we, shall we try them? I think we should. I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is cut them into like four per thing. Or do you think I need the full thing to be able to really get the effect of it? I, I can't decide because part of me thinks I maybe I cut them in half part of me thinks I need to see them in like different areas of light so I need like multiple bits of each and part of me thinks I need to see like area what do you think right I've stuck my two favorites to the like cooker hood for the minute and I'm just gonna sort of spend the next few days like looking at them <laughs> and trying to make a bit of a decision the girls really like this one I'm worried it's gonna make the kitchen too, like, dark. But I did want to go for something bold, so am I just being a wimp? I'm also wondering whether this one is maybe still too bright blue, and I might want to go for something slightly lighter or greyer, but then I think I'm just, like, ducking out of the bold decision I wanted to do. I do also think, obviously, we'll be keeping the countertop. I do think that colour goes really nicely with the grey and with the brownish kind of grey of the backsplash. So, I'm not sure, it's very bold. What do you guys think? It's dark outside, nearly. It's the end of the work day. I'm putting the laptop down for now, but the Wicked tickets go on sale with Girlies IRL Theatre Club um, in just over an hour. So I will be going back to my laptop in a bit. So I'm gonna try and use that as a cutoff point for us to finish painting the hallway so that I can then actually start on the spring clean. <laughs> so I've got an hour. Do you think we can do it in an hour? I'm sure, but Jimmy's coffee to the rescue. Yeah, I need a coffee. I just didn't vlog because that was actually way more stressful than I was anticipating. We haven't managed to finish it, but we have got it down to a point where I think it will take like one more hour session to finish it. Because you know sometimes with paint, like if you go over the same bit too much with wet paint, it like takes the paint off rather than adding more paint. We got to that stage. So I've stopped doing that. I'm literally covered, but the time is now... 6.53 and the wicked take the wicked tickets go on live at seven go oh my god words please the wicked tickets go live at seven so i've got seven minutes so i'm just going to get up a couple of tabs on facebook and stuff to get all the announcement posts ready um one of the other girls is doing a story frame jess is doing it i think everything's under control i hope everyone likes it we have actually managed to get a 15 percent no not 15 percent a 15 pound discount on the ticket face value which i'm really pleased with so considering tickets are always more expensive on a Saturday matinee and they are really good seats. I'm actually very pleased with the price that we've got them for. They're 64 pounds, but that is a lot more expensive than our other events, which tend to be around 35, 40 pounds. But obviously it's a West End show. So there's only so much I can do about that. I've got it down as much as I can. The face value is 79 pounds each and we're doing them for 64. So I always get so nervous before we put the tickets on sale. 
I've just had a message, well, it was a few minutes ago now, to say that someone is pretending to be me on Instagram and messaging my followers trying to get people to click on a link and log in through Instagram. Um, so good. <laughs> uh, I was just trying to t start tidying up, actually, so it's been a very good distraction, but um, I think I've got it resolved. I messaged meta and i had to send like a selfie of me with my driving license to prove that i am me and now apparently they're going to call me within the next few minutes to confirm that the account has been removed we are now on operation restore this hallway to like an, a functional living space charlie is messaging the hacker not hacker but the the scammer <laughs> asking where basically they're, they're pretending to be a clothing line in my name and Charlie's messaging them asking where the clothes get shipped from. They've just said China. Hello? Hi there. Hi. Hello. I am Shine from Matter Protein. Are you speaking with me? You are, yeah. Our dedicated team has already been on process of taking down the account uh, that we have reported here and our system since we can also see here as well that the uh, account that we have uh, reported is doesn't follow our community guidelines and yeah. this is really an impersonating or fake account, okay? Yeah. So, thank, thank you so care. much, you too. Bye-bye. All right, okay. They're in the process of getting it taken down. Fingers crossed. I can see you talking to them. What have you said? China. They said, China, do you mind? Just don't reply because we need to be able to see when the account disappears. Right, the painting stuff is done. Let's put the furniture back. I don't really know whether this is the furniture that's going to stay in here. I need to come up with like a whole game plan. <laughs> what? <laughs> This is the like footstool thing that I have in here so people can sit down while they're putting their shoes on. It did look much nice, uh, much nice. Next much to nice, <laughs> I like. <laughs> Next to the green, I feel like with the white it just looks a bit dirty because it's off white. But... Dirty, dirty gal. Okay, I'm going to put this in that corner, is that okay? Um, yeah, just put back in, put back in. <laughs> Move your grubby toes out of it. Sorry, I'm sorry. Everywhere I go, it's wet. She's going through a Borat phase this evening. Is it Borat? Yeah. Yeah. Next thing that's going in is this little, like, photo clip wire thing. Fantastic describing words there. But I have just changed up what was on it. So I now have this picture that I got in New York, which is like a print of the Empire State Building. This valentine's card that i got from charlie i think it's a really cute little design this is actually a pin that i nearly took off but i really like it like as a card so i'm gonna put it on there this is a card i got once with a pr parcel i just thought it was cute so i put it on there same with this one you're out of this world this is from oh punky pins um i bought all my friends a like enamel pin for christmas this year that was like suited to their personalities and this came with it and it says you're out of this world and i just think it's really cute so i put it on there and then this is what the receipt came on when i was in new york at a very nice restaurant called jack's wife frida where we went for breakfast so that is my updated board near the door i don't know if it'll stay there but it's there for now this is my little shelving unit that goes here i think it was originally next home but i actually bought it from a shop called Choice that sells like like old stock from loads of high street stores, including Next. It's very dusty. I'm gonna dust it, and then I'm gonna figure out what to put on them because I've never really intentionally like dressed them, and I would like to. Right, first of all, I need a couple of practical things on here. So I've got this little key dish that I bought from Oliver Bonus like five or six years ago. That can go there. Um, so I can put keys on there when I come in. I really don't know what to put on this. Next up, I did have this reed diffuser on there, but I didn't really like it very much. Um, just don't really think it gives much. So I also have this one in the other room, which I think does a better job of like dispensing the smell because these, I mean, it was a lot more expensive, so presumably they do a better job, but it is actually completely empty. Actually, I think it needs a rinse. I'm gonna rinse this. Okay, I've given this one a dust. This is from Oliver Bonus. I feel like I'm really exposing myself today as like the Oliver Bonus super fan that I really am. So I'm literally just gonna pour the actual liquid from this into that bottle. 
amazing. I just poured it everywhere. That definitely looks better than the other one, I think. And then the last thing that I have for the top is this little taxi that I got from New York. It is a snow globe with all of the skyline in it. I love this. Obviously, it's not a very accurate skyline because the Statue of Liberty is not next to the Empire State Building. But this is my favourite New York building, the Chrysler Building. And I'm going to put that there. And I think that looks quite cute as the top shelf. It's functional. It's got space for the keys. It makes it smell nice. And then that's just nice to look at. So that's the first shelf. On to the second shelf. I'm thinking maybe some books. Okay, I found a few books that I think might look cute. Starting from the bottom, I've just got a couple of, like, big kind of... Things I've been using as coffee table books in the other room, but I don't have a coffee table. So I've got the like program from the Olivier Awards. I didn't actually attend, but they sent me this. Um, so I'm gonna pop that on the bottom. And then I've also got this, the Moonwalkers um, exhibit, which was in King's Cross, starring Tom Hanks. It was very cool. So I'm gonna put those there. And then I've got this absolutely incredible, playbill book that my friend bought me for my birthday and basically in here is like loads of the old playbills and a bit about like what the shows were and the different theatres in New York. It's just a very cool book. And then carrying on with the musical theatre theme I've got this book which is called Defying Gravity and it is about Stephen Schwartz and his creative career. Stephen Schwartz wrote Wicked and also Godspell which is one of the first shows I was ever in. And then lastly, I've got this book, which is about Bonnie and Clyde, and I cannot wait to read this. I'm actually going to interview the cast of Bonnie and Clyde next week, at tour, which I'm really excited about. But this is a book about like the true story, which is so cool. Um, I've had a little read, but I wanna dive in to the depths of this. But it's also just a very nice book to look at, so I'm gonna put that there as well. I brought a candle through in case I wanted something taller but I feel like that just sort of makes it look a bit much do you think it looks better like that and then in the bottom shelf I'm just going to put these two baskets which have an umbrella in I do have a couple of other umbrellas but I don't know where they are but that feels like a useful place to put them I've had those baskets since I was at uni and rose gold was very much my vibe back, back then but it's not really anymore so I keep meaning to spray paint them but I've just never gotten around to them but actually I think that looks pretty cute as a temporary measure anyway oh my god I forgot the doormat this is just a doormat that we got from Ikea the other week I just think it warms the space up a bit okay right that's a bit better I feel a bit less like I'm walking into a building site when I walk into my flat good morning guys I've gone with the straight hair again I'm kind of feeling it. Charlie has gone to work in an office for the first time today. So I am eating cheese for lunch. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I will have something else. I'm, I'm actually really hungry. I just can't be bothered to cook for one person. And it is also only 10 to 12. So I'm going to eat this and it's going to tide me over while I clean the kitchen. I can't even get into my cheese. This is a disaster. Scissors to the rescue. Nobody panic. Now I'm squeezing it up like a frube. This all feels wrong. Mmm. I hardly have root cheese. Also, I've been thinking more about these. And I actually don't think I'm particularly keen on either of them. I, I think I need something that is a bit more grey toned. I want it to be more like a neutral blue than like bright blue. And I think they are both quite bright blue. They looked quite different on the screen when I ordered them. Also, I did my nails this morning. I keep seeing people talk about strawberry milk or strawberry milkshake nails. So I kind of started off doing that, but then I thought they looked a bit boring, so I added some gold stars. I swear living in a flat is just bin run after bin run. My flat is like one big bin. There's always so much rubbish. And the bin is so far away. And I need a key to access it. It's such a faff. I love this little grill that I have. I use it almost every day. Yesterday I made halloumi on it. I've just realised I said that I don't eat cheese very often. And halloumi is cheese, but somehow it feels different. By I don't eat cheese very often, I more mean like I don't eat blocks of cheddar very often. But yeah, I love this little grill. It is so handy and it cooks the halloumi perfectly like Nando's halloumi sticks. Apparently it does chicken very well as well and it's very good for toasties. But the problem is I really hate cleaning it. For some reason to do with like science or something, you're not allowed to use um, any like soaps or anything on it because then they'll end up in your food. So you just have to clean it with like 
warm water so i just end up like spending probably like 20 minutes a day trying to clean this little grill 20 minutes a day that really adds up you know that's like two hours 20 minutes a week i could watch a film in that time maybe i should start watching a film while i'm cleaning this grill like start it at the beginning of the week and then just watch the whole film but only when i'm cleaning this grill after going to disney hq the other day i actually really want to watch poor things i wanted to watch it before but i missed it in the cinema and now it's on disney plus um and they had all the costumes there and everyone raves about it and i'm so annoyed i missed it in the first place i'm rubbish at paying attention to films when i'm at home which is why i go to the cinema so much but so i think i'm gonna have to like trick my tiny little brain into thinking i'm at the cinema when I'm actually just in my living room, like turn off the lights, put my phone away, get some snacks, I don't know, something. Cause I really do want to watch it. I want to know what everyone's talking about. I've got FOMO. I was actually supposed to be out shooting today, but the weather is so gray, we've not been able to do it. Um, so I've kind of gained a little bit of extra time back. So I think with that, I'm gonna film some declutters for my TikTok. So I've spun the wheel. I'm hoping to get three done, but the first one has come up with the secret drawer, which is, this drawer that lives like under my cutlery and this is supposed to fix onto here but it doesn't really i think because there's too much in it which is why i call it the secret drawer because actually it used to be a bit of a secret drawer you'd sort of open this and not realize that there was anything underneath it but it's a bit broken so wish me luck this is the before and it is 12 31 let's see how long this takes i'm done the time is now 112 i have a message from maria saying want to get slim chickens later and absolutely i do but look at the drawer i'm so pleased it's still broken i can't work out how to fix it but i know it still looks a little bit messy but the difference is i know what's in there and i can actually see everything and it closes without like ramming it shut although i'm still annoyed this fixture thing is still broken this is supposed to come out with it and i really thought for a second on the tiktok that i'd fixed it but it didn't work. Any ideas? I feel like it might have something to do with this, but I can't get down there to look because obviously there's a drawer in the way. I just FaceTimed my sister for a bit, but now it's time to get back on it. I spun the declutter wheel again, and it's come up with the shoe cupboard, which currently looks <laughs> like this. It's 10 past two. This is the before shot. The coats are good up there. Let's see how long this takes me. Guys, this one is so much harder than I thought. It has been hours. <laughs> Um, and I'm still going. This is what the office floor currently looks like. This is the get rid pile. I had a system. These ones are staying. Now I need to hoover out the cupboard itself. This is another outfit check. I've done that thing again. I've left myself with a really stressful situation for later because I need to go back to Norwich like as soon as this event finishes and I haven't packed. So I'm gonna write a packing list on the tube, but basically, Sister Act, the musical, have hired out Heaven, the nightclub, to showcase some of their songs and basically I think it's just going to be like more information about the production that's coming up this summer. Sister Act is like a very sparkly musical so I added like a sparkly headband, some fun earrings and my like silver and gold bag from Marc Jacobs. But the rest of it is just all black. I think this kind of looks cool though. This isn't a co-ord. The skirt is from H&M that I got recently and the jacket is from Hollister. I've had it for ages, but it kind of looks like I'm wearing a little like leather co-ord skirt suit thing. And I'm actually quite a fan. I don't think I ever would have put this together in my head. I just was running around with a skirt on going, what do I put with this? But actually, I think it looks quite intentional. So I'll take it. This is Slim Chickens. Oh new absolute favorite restaurant in for like fast food in london restaurant, restaurant. Yeah, restaurant you know what i mean team. yeah and this window where you can look out of so and fun. see everyone is really fun yeah i love a window god it's so busy around here he's ready to see some singing nuns guys absolutely isn't it so weird that like all these people are here and they don't realize that just a few meters away they're like singing sparkly nuts singing nuns They've got no idea. Oh, it's Mrs. Doubtfire. That's not a singing night. I've got no idea what she's doing here. She's in the wrong show. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Blessings, blessings, <laughs> blessings. Praise be, praise be. Hashtag hallelujah, hashtag blessed. Now, it is written, oh God, that on the 15th day of the month of March, 
in the year of our Lord 2024, thy divine musical comedy shall return. In the name of thy divine musical comedy, O Lord, shall be Sister Act! Furthermore, <laughs> O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Gay Man. <laughs> <laughs> you look very relaxed this morning. We're in Norwich now, obviously, and we're just doing a quick bacon roll run. <laughs> Last night, we drove after the Sister Act event, and Charlie had obviously just started the new job in the new office, um, so he'd been out to the pub, and I'd been in that, like, in a club, <laughs> and then we were like, okay, let's do a three-hour drive to Norwich, and it was a horrible drive. <laughs> It felt like it was never going to end. It was, yeah, when we were, I think we were probably about an hour out, and I just kept on saying to myself, when will this end? Yeah, like, I remember looking at the sat being like, we must nearly be there now, and it was still like an hour and a half to go. And I was like, I'm losing the world to live. I, I honestly, what are we doing? Oh, do you know what I've thought? What? Pork, um, the roast, you want a hog roast. A hog roast. For breakfast. Oh, that would be so good. It's just like a bacon sandwich. I suppose it is, yeah. Oh, a hog roast for breakfast. Oh, get in my belly. This butcher's in Norwich Archers. This is the one for bacon rolls. We've got the goods. I'm sorry, look at this. Stunning. It's event time. Sorry, I got a lolly with my dinner. We're just here at the Norfolk venue for the Girlies Ira Pottery Painting event for International Women's Day. Very exciting. Abby and I are just packing the goodie bags. Um, in here we have a face mask, a lip balm, a can of Malibu strawberry, and a Girlies IRL merch print. And everyone that's coming is getting one of these. Whoa! 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 Hey, Amy. Hey, Abby. Yeah. And um, what are you doing then? Say hello to me then. As well. yeah. 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 This is the first venue we ever held a Girlies yeah. IRL event. This was the room. Yeah. That we were in when we did the panel. And then this is the room where we're doing the pottery, which is so cute. It's all set up. These are all the colours. We've got four people per table. So it's nice and kind of easy to chat to people. You don't have to shout or anything. We've got some paper ready for a workshop. We've got some name badges. This is where everyone will arrive. We're gonna have a quick cup of coffee and then we're gonna spring into action. Spring. Spring. Hashtag spring. Are you ready for spring? Um, I am so ready for spring. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I am. T minus 14 minutes. T, T minus 14 <laughs> minutes. Here's our coffee situation. Oh, whoa. <laughs> like oh God. <laughs> Here are the girlies, oh, yes. they're painting their pottery. We did like an International Women's Day workshop. It was actually really good. Like we were like ranting about the things that are a bit rubbish about being a woman sometimes, but also talking about like our favorite things about girlhood and stuff like that. And it was fantastic. I actually loved it. I thought it was really like uplifting. I thought everybody really responded. My camera died. But Twinkle and I would like to say thank you very much for watching yet another weekly vlog, vlog 10. No less. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, please check that you're subscribed to my channel because I'd really like to reach a thousand subscribers and I've just reached 900. So there's still a way to go, but we're getting there. Hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you next Sunday. Bye. Say bye, Twinkle. She says bye.